<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Dirk. Thanks so much for tuning in. And yes, here is another unsponsored video. I was crazy enough to purchase 18 different micro SD cards, different manufacturers, different brands, and they all are 128 gigabyte. And today we're going to check out what's the true storage that we can actually utilize and what is the real speed in comparison to the advertised speed. The Kioxia Xeria has the lowest speed to price ratio with 1.485. That means you get the lowest performance for the money. Place number 17 goes to the Kingston Canvas Select with a low speed to price ratio of 1.516. We're getting a writing speed of 28.48 megabyte per second. On rank 16 we have the Samsung Pro Endurance with a relatively low speed to price ratio of 1.676. Nothing wrong with this card, there are just better options out there. Rank 15 is the Adata Premier Pro with a low speed to price ratio of 1.823 and that's a bit disappointing considering that this is not even an endurance card. The Strontium Nitro A1 gives us a really good sequential write speed of 78.5 MB per second, but the high price of $43 puts it on rank 14. With over 71 MB per second, the Ventru is an endurance card with a really good write speed, but the high price of $37 sets it back to rank 13. Amplin is on rank 12 and that was one of the few cards that underperformed in comparison to their advertised speed. And the speed to price ratio of 2.123 is not the greatest. The Prograde was the only UHS-2 card in our test and we saw UHS-1 cards outperforming the write speed of this one. And therefore I find the high price of $60 not rectified. Number 10, the PNY Elite X. We have a speed to price ratio of 2.85 it is not an endurance card, but it has a good write speed of 59.4 MB per second. Number 9. The Gigastone Gaming Plus. We have a speed to price ratio of 2.967 and a write speed of 59.47 MB per second. Number 8 goes to the Neetech. This is an endurance card with an STP of 3.429. We have a write speed of 58.27 MB per second. Number 7. The speed to price ratio of the Samsung Evo Select is 3.742. We have a good write speed of 67.32 MB per second. Number 6 is the LaView with a write speed of 82.78 MB per second and a speed to price ratio of 4.141. And that's pretty good for an endurance card. Number 5 is the SanDisk Extreme Pro with a speed to price ratio of 4.489 and a write speed of 111.25 MB per second. Fourth place for the Transcend High Performance that gives us even more speed for the money. We're getting 123.86 MB per second and that gives us a speed to price ratio of 4.765. Lexa comes in third with an excellent STP of 5.734. The manufacturer states that it's made for harsh conditions, but doesn't clearly define it as an endurance card. Our number two is the biggest surprise and officially the best bang for the buck. For only $17, we're getting a write speed of 155.83 MB per second from the Silicon Power. The speed to price ratio is the highest of all the cards I've tested, 9.712. And if this would be an endurance card, this would be our number one. And before I reveal our number one, I'd like to say something. Like I said, this was a not sponsored video. I bought all of them with my own money. Now, if you're in the market to purchase a micro SD card and you would use one of the Amazon affiliate links in the description below, then I would make some money back and I would really appreciate this. And now, without further ado, here's the absolute best overall card. Our number one, the Kingston Canvas Go Plus. It is an endurance card, waterproof, shockproof, temperature proof and x-ray proof. It stands out with a blazing fast sequential writing speed of 156.11 MB per second. It is faster than the silicon power. And yes, it is a bit more expensive, that's why the lower STP of 6.351, but 
but therefore all its content is protected and that's what makes it my number one. If you'd like to see how I tested each of the cards while partially dealing with unspeakable threats, here it is. We're using the Kingston Mobileite Plus, which is still the fastest microSD card reader in the market. Our first test subject is the ProGrade UHS-2 microSD card advertised with a writing speed of 130 megabyte per second. The true usable storage of the 128 gigabyte advertised storage is 119 gigabyte and the write speed is 21 megabyte per second faster than advertised. We're getting whopping 151 megabyte per second. Now if we would divide the speed by the dollar amount this card costs, we would get 2.516 megabyte per second for every dollar spent. I had to distract a very curious Kiwi to be able to get the Gigastone Gaming Plus microSD card into my laptop. The usable storage on this card is 119 gigabyte and it is advertised with 50 megabyte per second sequential writing speed and the results are a little bit better. We're getting 59.47 megabyte per second. And that gives us a speed to price ratio of 2.976 megabyte per second per dollar. The PNY Elite X 128GB microSD card provides a usable capacity of 116GB and it performs with a sequential writing speed of 59.4MB per second. This makes a speed to price ratio of 2.585MB per second per dollar spent. Our next subject is the Lexa Professional that gives us a usable storage of 117 gigabyte. The Lexa was the only card that I couldn't use right out of the box. I actually had to format it before it was readable. Once this was done, it gave us an excellent speed. The sequential writing speed was 123 megabyte per second. And this gives us an excellent speed to price ratio of 5.734 megabyte per second Per dollar. So here is the Adata or Adata Premier Pro micro SD card that gives us a usable storage of 117 gigabyte. And instead of the promised and advertised 80 megabyte per second, we're getting only a sequential writing speed of 38 megabyte per second. And this makes a speed to price ratio of 1.823 megabyte per second per dollar. Here we have the SanDisk Extreme Pro microSD card that gives us a usable storage of 119 GB. It performs better than advertised and we're getting a sequential write speed of 111 MB per second. Breaking it down, that gives us a speed to price ratio of 4.489 MB per second per dollar spent. The Transcend High Performance is a beautiful card but the usable storage is a bit disappointing. We're getting only 112 gigabyte. But this card makes it up when it comes to speed. Although it's advertised only with 85 megabyte writing speed, we're getting whopping 124 megabyte per second sequential writing speed. And that gives us a speed to price ratio of 4.765 megabyte per second per dollar. Now we're testing the green silicon power 128GB microSD card. Kiwi is still trying to grab one of these tiny chips as her toy. Although this card gives us only 115GB usable storage, the write speed is more than impressive. And I've repeated this test multiple times to verify. Advertised is this card with 80MB per second sequential write speed, but we're getting actually 156 megabyte sequential write speed. And to break it down, this gives us 9.172 megabyte per second for every dollar spent. Endurance cards are normally a bit slower, but therefore have other advantages, like the Samsung Pro Endurance that is waterproof, shockproof, temperature proof, x-ray proof and magnetic proof. The usable storage on this card is 119 gigabyte and the speed is still fast enough for a dash cam. We're getting 35 megabyte per second sequential writing speed. Breaking it down to the $20.99 that makes it a 1.676 megabyte per second per dollar. 
The next high endurance micro SD card that we're testing is a NeTech. It is waterproof, temperature resistant, X ray proof, and anti magnetic. We're getting a usable storage of 116GB. Although it is advertised with 30 megabyte per second sequential write speed, it outperforms its own advertisement by delivering 58 megabyte per second write speed. And to break it down, we're getting 3.429 megabyte per second per dollar. Love you. Love you? Love you? I don't know. But this micro SD card has great features. It is shockproof, temperature-proof, waterproof and x-ray proof. We're getting a usable capacity of 117 gigabyte. It is advertised with a sequential writing speed of 60 megabyte per second and the results are actually better than advertised. We're getting 83 megabyte per second writing speed and if we're breaking it down, for every dollar spent we're getting 4.14 megabyte per second. It's not the first time that Amplin is trying to get away with false advertisement. And I'm not talking about the 116 gigabyte usable storage. No, I'm talking about their advertised writing speed of 96 megabyte per second, because we're getting only 59.41. And that's not really bad for an endurance card, it's just not okay to advertise almost twice the speed. Dashcam manufacturer Ventru came out with their own high endurance micro SD card to withstand extreme temperatures, magnet, water and x-rays. Crystal Disk Mark always rounds it up and makes things look a little bit better, but the PC shows us that we're getting a usable storage of 117GB. With a sequential writing speed of 71MB per second, this card works as advertised. But with $37, this card is pretty pricey. And that's why our speed to price ratio is only 1.926 megabyte per second per dollar spent. To make us creators stutter, Toshiba changed its name to Kioxia. And here is the Kioxia Xeria micro SD card, another endurance card that is X ray proof, water, and shock proof. It gives us a usable storage of 116 gigabyte and we're getting a sequential writing speed of 35 megabyte per second. At this time the price is $23.42. That gives us a speed to price ratio of only 1.485 megabyte per second per dollar spent. The Strontium Nitro A1 micro SD card is another endurance card and it is water, temperature, magnet and x-ray proof. It gives us a usable storage of 117 gigabyte and it's pretty fast. The sequential write speed is 78.5 megabyte per second. That's the good news. Unfortunately, this is not a cheap card. And that's why the speed to price ratio is 1.826 megabyte per second per dollar spent. The Kingston Canvas Select is another endurance card that is shock, temperature, water and x-ray proof. It gives us a usable storage of 116GB and the writing speed is a little bit low. It's 28.48MB per second. With a price of 1878 we're getting a speed to price ratio of 1.516MB per second per dollar spent. Another endurance micro SD card from the Kingston Canvas family is the Kingston Canvas Go Plus. It is waterproof, temperature proof, shock vibration and x-ray proof. The usable storage is 116GB. And we're getting a blazing fast sequential writing speed of 156MB per second. And that gives us a speed to price ratio of 6.351MB per second per dollar spent. The new Samsung Evo Select is an endurance card that is X-ray, magnetic, temperature and shock proof. We're getting 119 gigabyte of usable storage and the write speed is 67 megabyte per second. And this is a pretty good speed to price ratio of 3.742 megabyte per second per dollar spent. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this and tune in soon again. Bye for now.